Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Tatiana Anissa. I am so excited for today's video. I have tried to film this video about three times. This is my third time filming this video. I think three times is a charm. I am so sorry that I have been MIA lately. I filmed like three videos and when I went time to edit, I literally was not happy with them. I did not like the outcome. So I was like, you know what? Quality over quantity. I'm not going to post a video if I'm not happy with, you know, so I'm excited that I'm filming this video today. We are going to be doing a speed makeup review of all the new products I tried in the month of January. There are so many products that I have tried recently and I'm so excited for it. So you guys, let's get into it. On my lips, I am wearing the Tatiana Nisa Cosmetics Solar Gloss. This is my favorite everyday gloss, you guys. It is the most prettiest nude gloss ever. I always have my cosmetic line linked down below in every description so you guys can shop, but I am obsessed. Solar is my favorite everyday shade. And then my highlight today, I went beaming, okay? This highlighter you guys see, which is very intense, like, Girl, I went heavy intense today, but I really love the glow, okay? Can we just get into this glow? It is my Get Lit Highlighter Palette. You guys literally love this palette so much, and it makes me so happy that you guys love this palette, but this right here is the Get Lit Highlighter Palette. I am wearing the shade Honey Glaze today on my face all over. So yeah, you guys can definitely shop those two products. Just wanted to mention that in today's video because I don't talk about my cosmetics enough i feel like but i try not to like throw it at you guys you know i'm very proud of those products and i'm wearing it today so in case you guys were wondering that is what i have on let's go ahead and start off with primers so i tried a ton of primers last month first primer i want to talk about is from nyx this is the nyx plump right back plumping primer serum you guys this is a really amazing primer i love it i feel like if you don't really like gripping primers and you hate how it feels on your skin i think you're really gonna like this one because it is like more of a hydrating serum primer but when it dries it gives you like a slight tacky kind of finish but it's not like super intense like the milk hydro grip or the elf power grip primer i feel like this is a good alternative to that if you like the effect that the gripping primers give so i highly recommend this one i like it i constantly reach for it and it's a really great primer i will say it's expensive okay that's the one thing about it it's it's super expensive so yeah nyx what are you doing 17 dollars, girl it's it's expensive the next primer right here is the elf power grip primer so this right here is a part of elf's primary line they are getting rid of the mint melt and the jelly pop primer so if you love those you might really like this one i personally think this one is different from the other two yes it grips like the others but this is a very intense grip okay it is very very intense and i just have to say like this is my favorite one out of all of them i feel like the name power grip is real so when it says it's gonna grip it's gonna grip and i just also love how it leaves that longevity of my makeup as well the other primer from elf that i tried is the elf cookies and dream putty primer now this one is my favorite putty primer out of all of them because when i tell you guys this smells so good it is creamier than all the other putty primers let me just say but it has a really nice vanilla cookie scent, which I really, really love. I love it so much that your girl bought a backup. So that says a lot. I love it. It just smells so good. This is limited edition, so I had to get it in with the uh, with the other one as well. If you love the putty primers, I think you're really gonna love that one. The scent to it is not very intense, so like when you put it on your face, it literally goes away, so you don't have to worry about that. The last primer that I tried was the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I think I tried this last month. Yeah, I think I did. Honestly, I feel like this one should have been the first one they came out with. This one is definitely my favorite. It is a water-based primer, so it hydrates, but it also does blur the pores, which I love. So I feel like if you found that the original Pore Professional Primer wasn't hydrating enough for you and you felt it was kind of drying, I usually hear people say that a lot. I think you're really gonna love this one. I love this one as well. This right here, this right here is my favorite high-end everyday 
foundation. I freaking love this foundation so much. If you haven't tried this, what are you doing? This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I have a full review on literally just about all of these products that I am talking about in today's video, but I seriously love this foundation. It is so freaking good. I highly recommend it. I'm wearing it today. It literally looks like skin. I constantly reach for this. I have not picked up another one of my foundations. This is just so good. Um, I think this is my favorite foundation from NARS and I really love it. I love how natural it looks on the skin. I love the coverage that it gives me. It's just really, really beautiful. Not only that, it also has those skincare benefits as well in here. So, you know, we love when our makeup mixes skincare because you don't have to do as much work, honestly. And then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Now, ever since my first impressions review, I liked it in that video, right? I liked it. We tried it. We did a wear test. But since I've had the time after that video to test out this foundation, I've come to the fact that I just don't like it. I'm not a fan of this foundation at all. I do not like how it looks on my skin. Well, I do not like how this foundation looks after I'm done with my makeup. So when you first apply it, it looks pretty. You think it's like, it looks good, you know? But then when you start to layer products on top of the foundation, it just starts to look not good. And it starts to separate everything. Like you, this separates horribly around my mouth. I don't know what it is around like my mouth. When I'm done with my makeup, I'm left like, where did it go? Where did my makeup go? I do not like this. I'm probably gonna return this back to Sephora because I don't see any point in keeping a product that I don't like, but yeah. I feel like this is something that either you love it or you hate it. You might have to just try it for yourself and see. If you found that her OG, like her mattifying foundation was too much, then you might like this one. But me personally, I prefer the flawless foundation over this one. So the NYX Bear With Me Concealer is a really great everyday concealer. It's super hydrating. You can definitely build it up. It does pair really well with the NARS foundation as well. The only thing I don't like about this foundation, about foundation, oh my God. The only thing I don't like about this concealer is the fact is the the pump i don't like that you have to pump it because i'm i don't like to pump it on the back of my hand and then take it and then put it on my fingers i just feel like that's so many steps so usually i'll take it and i'll put it on my sponge and i end up not putting it high enough on the sponge that it ends up being down here when i apply it to my face and i'm just like uh. but the formula is good it's just if you are willing to take that extra step and to apply it on your the back of your hand then taking it with your finger and then blending then by all means it's a great great concealer i like it when i'm not in a rush i will use that concealer but if i'm in a rush i can't use it it's too many extra steps i have to take with it let's go ahead and talk about this right here because this is the rare beauty bronzer stick now this surprised me so much okay now i found the perfect way for me to apply it i like to apply it with a brush take the product on a brush and then apply it to my face because when I first tried this out I was like directly applying it to my face and then blending it out and I just found that it was just too red looking it wasn't like blended as seamlessly as it could be so I found a good way to use it and I remember in that video I said that I would this is a product I would forget to use and I actually don't I actually use it all the time and it just really surprises me it's just some days I don't want to use a powder bronzer. I'll just go in with this and it's great. I am in the shade full of life. It surprised me. Now let's talk about powders because I tried three different powders and I have some thoughts. So the first powder I tried is from NARS. This is the NARS Loose Light Reflecting Powder. I don't really honestly think this is new. I just think they came out with new shades, but it was my first time trying out this powder as well as the pressed version of the light reflecting powder. And I personally prefer the loose just because I find it a little bit easier to apply. They're also both radiant powders. So if you don't really like radiance, you might not like these, but I find that you get more radiance in the pressed version rather than the loose. So I'm, that's why I kind of like the loose more. This is just a powder that looks undetectable. Every time I use it, I'm like, where did it go? Did I put it on? And I'm like constantly like dipping back in and applying more powder because I don't see it, which I love that. I love powders that look undetectable. And that is this one right here. Now, if you like pressed powders, then you're going to love this one. But I will say you get more radiance in this powder right here. I do have the same shade in both, which is Mesa. So you can, like if you want both, you can get them in the same shade so you just have the same color but I do use this whenever I use like a tinted moisturizer or a lightweight 
or, or I have a lightweight foundation on because it is really great to like dust in certain areas to kind of like set the perimeter of my face. But like setting under here and cleaning up the contour, I just find that I don't really do that. I don't do that a lot. So and the other powder I tried was the Rare Beauty powder. I do hope that Selena comes out with a non-radiant powder because this would be so pretty under the eyes. Just by how like smooth and finely milled that it is, I think it'll be so beautiful under the eyes, but I can't use it under the eyes right now because it is so radiant. So radiant. I have the shade Medium Deep. I use this to clean up the contour. It's really beautiful. But if I had to choose, like I know someone's probably gonna be like, well, okay, out of the two, which one would you prefer? And out of these two, I think I prefer the NARS a lot more, but this powder is still really beautiful and I really like it. Now these surprised me so much. I was not expecting to like these as much as I do. These are the Do It, what is it? The Dewy and Cheek Lip Palettes. This one right here to me seems like it's more of a springtime color story. I feel like if you love like those pinks, those peachy colors, you might like this one. This one is called Do It Flirty. And then this one right here is Do It Undercover. This is the one that I've gravitated to the most. I like this one the most. Um, it's not just because I can use this for contour. I can use it for blush. I can use it for a really pretty nude lip as well. I wouldn't usually use these shades for a lip color. I'm not I'm more of a nude lip color kind of girl. And I remember someone asked me, do these work on top of powder? But they do work on top of powder, but I do recommend using a sponge, not a brush, something that's really light, going in with a light hand. I prefer them under powder, but they will, if you forget and you're like, oh my God, I wanna use this, you can use this on top of powder. You just have to be really, really light-handed with it. The NARS After Glow Blush Palette. This right here, it's my favorite NARS blush palette. I feel like NARS really killed it so far. Like, the, oh my gosh, you guys. So much good stuff coming out this year and I'm just like, what the heck? Like, what do I do? I cannot keep up. But this right here is such a beautiful palette. I reach for this nonstop. This palette is beautiful. It has all of my favorite shades in here. There's a highlight in here. These two blush shades right here, I'm constantly reaching for. I wish these were in singles, but then again, I have it in a palette, so I can't really complain, but I love this blush palette. It's beautiful, and it's limited edition, and if there's any NARS blush palette that you need to have, it's this one. I'm telling you, this one is a game changer. This is also a powder formula. It's not like their, their other blush palette that's more of like a highlighter the baked gelée kind of formula where you it's like really hard to pick up the pick up the product. This is powder so you are going to full on pigment. It's great. It's amazing and I love it. These right here from Alamar Cosmetics are from their Disney Encanto collection. This is oops, I almost dropped it. I talk about this a lot so I'm really not going to spend too much time on this. You guys, I feel like Alamar Cosmetics has some of the best best complexion products and I highly, highly recommend them. They are so great. Oh my gosh, I'm digging my fingers all in it. And I don't even know if these are, I think these are probably sold out. I'm not sure if they're gonna restock it. Definitely check out that collection though. You guys, I tried my first Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and it is beautiful. I was doing the overlay swatches for you guys in the close-ups. I was like, oh my God, this palette swatches so beautifully. I'm like, it's so beautiful. This is my first ever Pat McGrath palette. It is, this collection is available at Sephora too. I just saw that recently. And I'm like, oh my God, this is just so beautiful. And I'm so happy that I got it. My favorite thing from the collection is this eyeshadow palette. It is beautiful, highly recommend it. Now the blush palette is something that now that I've played with all of this, I don't really think it's something that you necessarily need to pick up. If you've never tried her blushes or her highlighter formula, then maybe this might be a good pickup for you. But if you already have tried that those formulas, you really don't need this blush palette. Like, let me tell you, I found that I pick up this palette for the highlighter. I love the highlighter. The highlighter in here just makes this whole palette worth it for me. Um, and the middle blush, I don't really gravitate to a lot. And then this pink blush, I haven't really been wearing pinky pinky blushes lately so yeah like that's just how i feel with that but the eyeshadow palette best believe it is definitely a must-have it's so beautiful so i did pick up the morphe sweetest tea little trio i love this i do wish this was sold separately i feel like it might be eventually but i've looked everywhere it's not so separately this is sweetest tea like the newest shade 
The gloss and the lipstick are my favorites. The lip liner is, I don't pick up the lip liner. I don't use the lip liner ever since I tried it out. I never touched it again, but the lip gloss and the lipstick are beautiful. Oh, so stunning. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Highly recommend the shade. If you've never tried Morphe glosses, they're super comfortable as well as their matte lipsticks are really comfortable as well. They're mega matte. You can stay away from those. Trust me. Recently, I got my hands on the Huda Beauty reformulated liquid lipsticks. I've never tried her first formula, so I really don't have a comparison for you guys regarding that, but these are very comfortable. One thing about these is that it goes on light, but it dries dark. So keep that in mind. I picked up two shades. So I have the shade Drama Mama. Let me swatch this for y'all. So this is Drama Mama. I don't think I did close-ups on the screen of these, uh, but here's Drama Mama, such a beautiful shade. It looks, when I first watched this, it looks kind of like red, but then it dries brown. So this is like the truest brown um, that she came out with. And then we also have Trendsetter. I got this for a little bit of like a ombre effect, that like nude pop of color in the center. It's a really pretty nude shade. I love it. It's so beautiful. It does say allow 30 seconds for it to dry. So keep that in mind. Hold out everywhere. These are great. Okay, if you can get your hands on any of these, definitely do. These are the Makeup by Mario Pumping Lip Serum. So I have the shade Mocha Glow and Plum Glow. I got these on the day of launch and I was not expecting people to sell these out and for it to go viral on TikTok. I'm happy I wanted this when I initially saw it the first day it came out. So I'm happy I got them. There's one shade that I want. It is sold out everywhere. So hopefully eventually when that like hype dies down, I can pick up that shade because these are literally like have the look of a gloss, are plumper and they also are like a lip serum. A lip oil as well like there's literally everything in here seriously recommend it it's a great everyday lip as well the only thing i don't like about these is that the packaging is like when you twist it up it has like a little twist up thing you get the product out but then you can't twist it down so you only take out what you need Last product is the Anastasia lipstick. You guys have seen this in my favorites video. I love this lipstick. It is amazing. This is the most comfortable matte lipstick I have ever tried. It's so comfortable. It's good. I love it. I have the shade Toffee. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm constantly picking up this shade. It's a beautiful everyday shade as well. I will say not all of the shades that came out in this launch are matte. Some are satin. So take a look at the shade and the finish of them. But this is a matte, so I tried the matte. I did not try the satin, and I really love the matte, and I think it's super comfortable, so. Guys, so that is it for today's video. I am so excited for the month of February. There's so much that's going on. It's literally Callie Rose's, my little Yorkie's first birthday on the 14th, so her birthday's on Valentine's Day, which I'm so excited about. My boyfriend's birthday is on the 20th, and this is the month we are officially going to be moving. Oh, you guys, it's been a long time coming, a long time coming, but I'm so excited for the videos. I cannot wait to redecorate and reorganize my makeup and get my vanity back because it's been in storage for months and I'm like, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So I'm trying to make sure I like pre-film because the week that we move, I don't know if I'm going to be, I'm not going to be able to be filming. So I'm going to try to pre-film. I need to do it. I'm telling myself now, I'm saying it so many times because I need to Need to do it, need to pre-film. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below on these products. Have you tried them yourself? And all of that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.